We are moving along here on this Thursday, Friday. It uh, is Friday. Friday. Look at where I am. <laughs> anyway, we are officially in peak fire season in California. So far across the state, there's been more than 4,100 wildfires. That's just since January. In 2019, a little over 2,500 wildfires ravaged California over the entire year. But some good news. Governor Gavin Newsom says the majority of this year's wildfires have been contained faster with the goal of 95% suppression at just 10 acres. And this morning, LA City Fire has given us a rare look at the preparations that are underway to mitigate fire dangers from up above. The department is expanding its use of drones. And for more on that, we bring in our Natalie Brunel, who joins us from LAFD Training Center near Dodger Stadium. Hey there, Natalie. Good morning. Hey, Natalie. Hey, good morning, guys. This is really the ultimate way of social distancing while tackling the dangers of wildfire season. And the LEFD calls these drones a much needed force multiplier during this pandemic. Instead of a helmet and hose, firefighter and U.S. Navy veteran David Danielson is armed with a set of drones. On the ground, I'm getting to function as a pilot, as an aviator. It's obviously exhilarating to use new technology. David spent 26 years as a helicopter crew chief in the Navy and now gets to apply all that aeronautical knowledge to help LA City Fire use drones to tackle all kinds of emergencies. Launch. It absolutely ups the game in, in the respect that we're efficient. Um, when you have an aerial view, you get to see a lot of things you wouldn't see from a ground level. As a precautionary advantage, the drones are deployed by pilots like David to survey the city's 140,000 parcels of land, both public and private, for brush clearance. What would normally take days or weeks for firefighters to do on the ground reduces to minutes and hours. On the drone, I can go up and do a brush or a vegetation density study in literally 30 seconds an acre, and if there's buildings on that map, they can then measure out 200 feet from the parcel. If it hasn't been cleared, then they can give a notification. David says the drones can also help locate a missing person in a search and rescue operation. And during an active wildfire, they can quickly map out burn acreage and use thermal imaging to pinpoint hotspots and serve as a pathfinder for ground crews to know exactly where to attack. This is a 30 time zoom optical lens. So I'm catching downtown. The technology is also coming in handy recently to check buildings for hazardous materials to prevent the kind of dangerous explosion that injured multiple LA City firefighters downtown back in May. To prevent risk to our firefighters going into these dangerous environments, nobody's getting hurt. And you're getting all that data, all that imagery, all that information from a safe distance. And at a time when social distancing and minimizing risks is at an all-time top priority, it makes David proud to work on expanding this technology to help prevent destruction and protect the community he serves. One of the other upsides is being able to safely evaluate areas that might need to be evacuated. And the goal, the LAFD says, is to be able to immediately share this footage with the public soon via live streams, especially during massive wildfires. Back to you guys. Natalie Brunel for us. We thank you so much. So, okay, obviously COVID-19 is creating some new challenges for firefighters. So how else are these drones helping in that regard? Yeah, you know, with these brush surveys, typically you would have multiple inspectors out, so the drone can do the work of several people, and it also helps with cost cutting. With the pandemic really affecting budgets across the city, uh, these drones also help make everything more economical. So leveraging this technology has a lot of benefits, guys. Natalie, thank you so much. Thank you, Natalie.